We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we are diving in and we're checking out SD Gundam G Generation Cross Rays. I know. It's a super long name. Uh, big fan of Gundam things in general. Massive fan of watching the various different shows. I've seen uh, several of them. Definitely not all of them, so I will be potentially a little behind if, uh, if I can't keep up with some of the shows that are out there. Uh, I will try to at least familiarize myself with the uh, characters and whatnot. And it's just so, it's so huge. Just so many different series and things of that nature that are Gundam related. Additionally, over the years, I have played many, 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 many Gundam games on various different consoles. Just a big, big fan of the series and the, everything around it as a whole. So, that being said, this is out by Tom Create and Bandai Namco, releasing on November 27th, 2019. And I, I'm here for it. I'm ready to dive in and begin. Bandai Namco, if you guys, for whatever reason, or someone like nudges them, uh, and you're watching this, please work with me. Please. You're one of the very few people I am not able to get to work with me. I met with silence. I think at this point it's you guys. There's probably one or two others, and then it's Sony and Nintendo. That's that's about it. Everyone else in some capacity or another has worked with me. So please, Bandai Namco. Please. I, I love so many of the things that you do. Please. Alright, I'm done. I'm done pleading. Anyway, let's dive in. I don't know where to begin with this. There's a lot going on. And apparently uh, we have I think almost everything for this game as far as DLCs, season passes, there's an expansion thing I don't think I have yet. So we'll probably end up getting that relatively soon. But for now, this is a perfectly fine start. The Destiny Gundam, Heine, sure. Uh, Weston Fluss, and then we have, I'm not going to be able to pronounce most of these, I apologize. Sisquiti? Mm -hmm. A AEUG color, Gundam Astray, Gold Frame, Amaterasu. Uh, then we have Lord Astre Omega. Then we have Sig Wedner. Okay, don't know who any of these people are or any of that stuff is. We have the Green Ingot. Units and modifications obtained from Get directly are added into the capture list. All right, added functions, character creation, new costumes and voices have been added, and helmets are now removable. Cool. Limit break, units and characters max level as well as max status levels are unlocked. Okay, don't know what that means. Oh, I guess it's going to tell me. New function, limit break, unit and character max levels are unlocked and can now be leveled from 99 to the new max level of 999. Oh, that's cool. Maximum status values have also been raised with even more OP equipment slots added. Character ability slots can also be expanded. Perform limit break from the enhanced screen for units and from the level up screen for characters. Limit break uses a lot of capital. We recommend trying it once you have plenty of capital. All right, so I kind of sifted through some of these menus. I have not actually dove in and played yet at all, so it'll all be pretty new. I, I don't fully understand what this stuff is. But, all right, so B, BGM settings, fine. Configuration, save, load, return. I'm like, those are all make sense. Gallery makes sense. Quests? I don't know. We'll look at that in a minute. Group dispatch? I, I feel like these are... Maybe they're online. Maybe they're leaderboard related. Like, maybe you play with other people. Maybe it's leaderboard related. It looks like there's challenges that get updated daily or weekly or something along those lines. And then the organization... Form your team, make preparations before beginning the stage. I feel like this is almost like we control the company of mobile suit pilots and mobile suits versus, and then we're able to send them out on actual missions. It's almost kind of like a my career mode type situation. Or uh, I'm trying to think of what they have in Battletech. Anyway, regardless, that looks like that's pretty cool. And then there's a story mode where you can choose the series and play the main story, which I think is pretty cool too. So if you are a Gundam fan, like I tend to be, or maybe you're, you know, you've only dipped your toe in the water and you don't really know everything that's going on in the series, or you, there's a series that you haven't watched, because again, there's like 85 series of the, this uh, show, this anime, plus the, you know, the, the, the manga and all that stuff. So you can actually play through the main story and, and kind of get a grasp, an idea, a feel for what these various characters are. 
So I I have seen the Mobile Suit Gundam Wing series, and I've watched uh, the first season of Iron Blooded Orphans. I watched most of it once, and I just it didn't. I was like, eh. And then I just rewatched it. Um, actually, just a couple days ago, and I'm like, oh my god, this is really good. So I, I really enjoyed the Iron Blooded Orphans. So except that uh, Mika is absolutely a sociopath, and it's terrifying. But you know, you know, he's a protagonist somehow. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I don't know where to begin here, to be honest. I sort of want to dip my toe in a lot of stuff, but we'll probably just dive in and play through one of the story modes, I guess. Now, uh, it has all Japanese voice it, voiced uh, stuff, so apologies for anyone who loves that and wants to hear it and read it and all that themselves. You maybe just mute me during that, but then you won't hear it, so, I mean, it's going to be low. I'm going to be reading over it, so just going to have to accept it and move on. Uh, organization... I I don't want to look at this. I, I just, it just, just a little, I, I don't know what the story mode. We're gonna do it. I've decided. All right, select the series and start stage strategy. You can change series at any time, so just pick one for now. So they have a Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. They have Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Dual Story G Unit. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. They have the Mobile Suit Gundam Seed, Gundam Seed Astray, Gundam Seed X or Cross or Versus Astray. Then Seed Destiny, Seed CE-73 Stargazer, Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zero, Double Zero F, Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zero The Movie, A Awakening of the Trailblazer, Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans, and Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans Gecko or Gecko. So, a lot of stuff there. And if you guys want to look at a, a few more things, actually, you know what? We, we'll probably we'll probably start with the Iron Blooded Orphans again. It's the freshest in my mind, so we're probably going to go this route. Though I will say, my first real introduction to Gundam as a whole was Wing, and I really did enjoy it. I've rewatched it a few years ago. It still holds up. I still really enjoyed it. Less fighting than I remembered. A lot less fighting than I remembered, but it's okay. All right, anyway, so we're going to go Iron-Blooded Orphans, but check it out. If you're wondering what's going on, here we go. Roughly 300 years have passed since the end of the great conflict known as the Calamity War. The Earth's sphere has lost its former governing structure, and although a temporary peace is formed thanks to the new system of government there, a new conflict is about to begin far away from Earth in the Mars sphere. Kudelia Ina Bernstein, a girl trying to get to Earth's sphere to aid in a movement to secure the independence of Mars, Mikazuki August, and the other young soldiers who have accepted the mission to escort her there, get, uh, and Gallerhorn, a powerful military organization intent on preserving world peace. This is the story of their earnest efforts to survive even as their goals and ideals clash against the backdrop of a chaotic and unstable world. If you uh, you haven't seen it yet, it's it's pretty cool. I do uh, I do recommend it. I, again, uh, series veterans might not like it. I I don't know. I I have enjoyed most of the Gundam things I've watched, so I might just be able to enjoy things that people think are terrible. I have no idea. Uh, what is stage? Oh, stage flow kind of shows how many levels are in each thing. It looks like. All right, so let's get into it then. It's the one we're choosing. Iron and Blood. Alright, so we have a fair few different difficulties here. I tend to stick to normal when I first start playing a game. I don't know if that's what we're going to stick with. Ability holder. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, these you just look at the enemy pilots, I guess, maybe? I'm, I'm not really sure what this means. All right, well, either way, this is what we're rolling with, so let's let's get to it. We can have atmospheric and ground units. Now, I believe this is going to be very story-heavy. We might even get into action the first episode. Maybe even the first few episodes. Ow. Ugh. Mm, so, what do you want me to do next, Orga? Yeah, it's pretty much... 300 years have passed since the Calamity War, the conflict that nearly wiped out humanity. Uh, 
organized into four economic blocks. The Earth reigns supreme under the protection of the peacekeeping organization, Gallarhorn. The fragile peace cannot last long as the economic disparities born from putting the Earth's sphere first creates tensions with the other planets. The exploited outer spheres mostly lie in squalor, their people growing destitute in an endless cycle of poverty from which they cannot escape. Oh, okay, so we can see that. Sorry, I bumped that. That was that, that my bad. Mm -hmm. It was post disaster 323. Uh, the Crease Guard Security, or CGS, a Mars based private security company, they appoint a group of com uh, composed of young boys known as the Third Group for an escort mission to Earth. The request was placed by Kudelia Ina Bernstein, a young noblewoman and key figure of the Mars independence movement. These boys represent the kinds of problems Mars is known for. Despite being about the same age, I know little about their pain. I hope they will open up to me over time. Her actions would eventually bring major changes to the world. Here, far from the war-ravaged Earth, an iron flower led by the Maiden of Revolution begins to bloom. True. That all makes sense later on. Pretty excited. I've, I've been wanting to play this for a while, and I have not had an opportunity to do so. Stage 01, Iron and Blood. Okay, okay. Mars, Arbrow, uh, Territory, Crise, Autonomous Region, Suburbs, CGS, the Crise Guard Security. It's Maruba RK. We say an autonomous region. We will take the representative's daughter to Earth. As for her escort, you, the third group, will do it. Huh? Is the representative's daughter Kudelia Ina Bernstein? Do you know her, Biscuit? I know she's involved in the independence movement. Her trip to Earth this time is about the independence of Mars. It's a noble effort. It certainly is. Why trust us with such a big job? The young miss handpicked you guys. Oh. Hmm? What? Whatever the reason, your job is the same as always. It's Hada Gunnel. You third group brats would do well to pay attention and obey. That's right. You do what we tell you. Hmm. Yeah. We must get going, my lady. Ah, oh, it's Fumitan Admos. Admos? Admos. Is it already time to go? I'm afraid so. You should go see your mother before you leave. My mother's just ignoring the truth. She doesn't even try to understand what's going on out there. That's just not who I am. I want to see and feel the truth. Is that why you chose them as your escorts? Yes. These CGS irregular children soldiers were born from the Earth Sphere's long rule. They embody the problems that currently burden Mars. By spending time with them, I hope to at least share some of their pain. Are you doing this to prove that you can be a leader of the Mars independence movement? Yes, I thought my father would be against my actions. Instead, he's given me such an important task as the mediator with Earth. Well, got to start somewhere, I suppose. Ah, uh, yes. Seven stars. Gallarhorn, Mars HQ, stationary orbital base Ares. Uh, that's pretty much the gist of the situation, Sir Coral. 
Understood. How beautiful youth and innocence are. Beg your pardon? The daughter of the Bernsteins, who are deeply involved with Earth, is seen as the leader of the independence movement. Isn't that ironic? Yes, she's a foolish child. No, when foolishness goes that far, it's magnificent. That's why Crises, or rather, those scoundrels all over Mars support her. If she wants to be remembered as an icon of the people, why don't we help her? Y yes, uh, please try to be gentle, Sir Coral. I trust you know how best to handle her. Hm. He sells out his own daughter and asks me to be gentle. Such a coward, that Norman Bernstein. Is it Burns Bernstein? It might be Stein. Bernstein, yeah. He could learn a thing or two from his daughter. But this changes that inspection from Earth into an opportunity. We'll need her to shine to receive support from the arms dealers. <laughs> Orlis. Sir, yes sir. The mission has been decided. I'm putting you in command this time. Yes sir. Crank, you'll be providing support to your former student. Very well, sir. Ein. Yes, sir. This is your first mission. Don't disappoint me. Uh, understood, sir. All right. This is I, I'm I'm very I'm very happy. Big old smile on my face, guys and girls. It's great. Eugene uh, Seven Stark. Are we really going to escort the young Miss? Oh man, I bet she smells real nice. Ah, uh, here we go again. Norbashina. Right, Ms. Uh, Mikazuki? What do you think? The young miss is human like us, so she wouldn't be any different. What? Forget it. Mikazuki isn't hungry for girls. Hey, doesn't this mean the president thinks we're better than his smooth-talking employees? Thanks to this, we're all, we'll all sail right past them and be first corps. I don't think so. No matter how senile old man Maruba gets, I'll always think of us as expendable. Hey, Orga, I'm starting to think that's because you're the leader of the third group. What do you say to that? Huh? Cut it out, Eugene. Shut up, Biscuit. You keep your mouth shut. Besides you... You looking for a fight, Eugene? I don't like fighting. Mika, this isn't a fight, right, guys? Uh, of course it's not. Akihiro Atland. Sorry, Akihiro, for being so rowdy. Always the same. <laughs> You're worried, aren't you, Orga? Biscuit, what do you think of this request? Something about it just seems fishy. Indeed. Gudelia Ina Bernstein. Bernstein. Uh, she's a big enough deal that Gallerhorn could involve itself, and it wouldn't surprise me. So, why would she choose this small company? Yeah, uh, in any case, we have no choice. If it turns out to be a trap, we'll crush them, trap and all. I mean, we'll, we'll probably try to do that. I mean, will we? <laughs> Maybe. Bernstein, Bernstein? I can't remember. Bernstein, Stein. Interstellar Flight Control System, Ariane... Ariadne? Yeah. Ariadne Earth Mars route. Ariadne. Alright. Oh, that was loud. Sir, the regular check in with HQ is complete. Very well. How annoying it is to need the transponder to communicate at all. They have reactor creates energy that not only powers the ship, but makes living in space possible. We have no choice but to turn a blind eye to some of the downsides. That's why Earth has trouble seeing this far, which makes more work for us interceptors. This was pretty much the cause of the 300 years war... Sorry, the war 300 years ago, right? But once you have it in your grasp, power is a hard thing to let go of. Humans are like that even if it is a power that could destroy them. Yeah, I see what you're saying. The good old Ahab reactors. 
leader of the third group. What's the matter, Orga? Can't sleep? Hey, didn't I say to stay out of here? Uh, it's just warm in here all the time. Give me a break. The engine room is supposed to be top secret. You know that. Sorry, old man. <laughs> so the young miss will be arriving soon, huh? Yeah, and we leave tomorrow. We have about five months to go to Earth and back. It's going to be quiet around here. Well, you guys were handpicked, right? You should be glad. Glad about what? We're just being used, same as always. That old man Maruba only thinks of us as rats that are a bit faster thanks to our whiskers. We learn about whiskers and the uh, Alea Vignana system. The whiskers. The old man-machine interface, the Alea Vignana system. That thing ain't right. Well, you have you have to have one implanted if you want to work here. Even so, I guess it's still better than not having a job. <laughs> I remember when you guys got yours. Or when you got yours, they didn't use any anesthetics, but you didn't cry or scream. Then they beat you for that. Yeah, I'm sure they would have beaten me for crying, too. In any case, we third group members are either toys for stress relief or human shields. But I still have my pride. I can't look bad in front of the others. You talking about Mikazuki? <laughs> it must be tough being a captain. Indubitably. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for choosing us. You won't be disappointed. It's an honor. I always admired your noble purposes, Miss Kudelia. Orga Itsuka reporting in for the four members of the third group. These are the boys who will escort you. Nice to meet you. I'm Kudelia Ina Bernstein. Uh, yeah. Hey there. Nice to meet you. Can't you even greet someone properly? Unbelievable. Now, about the upcoming arrangements. You there. Hmm? What's your name? Mikazuki August. Mikazuki, could you show me around? Uh, sure. Great. Fumitan, I'm letting you handle everything else. Understood. Huh? Um, uh, well then, shall we go over the details? Uh, but, what is it? Is there a problem? Well, no. Okay, Mikazuki, shall we? Sure. Follow me. Oh boy. What doth we have next? Just gonna go exploring around. Down there is the engine room. Excuse me. We have our own Ahab reactor. I excuse me. Hmm? Um, we we haven't shaken hands yet. Uh it's not a good idea. Why not? Um I just wanted to be on equal terms with you. I didn't want to because my hands are dirty. Huh? Oh, I, uh, just wanted to... You know what this means, right? What? We're not on equal terms. No, th that's not what I... Oh, my God. Uh, something bad's about to happen. I don't know why I'm so excited for this. This is terrible. But, um, yeah, bad stuff's about to go down. W what's going on? Sorry, I'm going to check things out. Huh? Uh, w wait, I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, so we're being attacked. I know you guys probably don't know this, but yeah, we're being attacked. What's the situation? Where have you been? Shino's team what just went out. Akihiro and the others are going out for the second or from the second anger. Uh, who's attacking us anyway? What are you guys still doing here? The third group should be out there attacking the enemy head on. 
Do you know who the enemy is? Huh? The, they're... Oh. That must be our uh, mobile workers. Man, these guys must be rich firing all those rounds. I don't know who they are. But they're going to get our... I'm sorry, but we're going to get our butts kick if they, kicked if they keep this up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they got fancier mobile workers. Hey, no way. Those mobile workers are... Gallarhorn? Just my luck. Why? Oh, why would they come after me? There's nothing to value here. Why is Gallarhorn attacking us? Who knows? Just hurry up and get the third group out there. First Corps are our main forces. What's their plan? How will we be coordinating our moves? We will attack from the rear. Yeah, we're going to do a pincer attack. So until then, your job is to hold off the enemy. Yeah, you got that? Man, I, I guess we have to go. Hey, Orga, you got a second? What is it, Biscuit? I detected an Ahab wave beside our own reactor. What? That means the enemy really is Gallahorn. It could be just how far do these guys want to go? Uh, essentially, an Ahab wave reactor or the frequency detection. If it's not like on a ship or on a planet, like a base doing something, it's probably a mobile suit. That's essentially what they're talking about here. Biscuit, I have a favor to ask. So that means that they're not just using mobile workers, they're probably using mobile suits to attack as well. So it's not going to be uh, uh, an even battle, we'll say. Whoa, that was close. There sure is a lot of them. I'm almost out of ammo. Shino, fall back. Orga, what took you so long? Sorry about that. Eugene, move out. All right, but I don't think we're going to last very long. Akihiro and Mika are also heading this way. Sorry for the holdup. I'm not letting you hog all the glory. All right, Mika and Akihiro have engaged. No one stands a chance against them in a melee fight. It's time to show them what we space rats can do. We'll regroup now. Uh, what's going on? Miss Kudelia. Huh? Uh, yes? Please, follow me. I'm taking you someplace safe. What? W where are you taking me? I, I have to find Fumitan. You'll die if you stay there. What? D die? Uh, am I going to die? I'm working really hard right now, so that won't happen. You get her, Biscuit. Orga. Biscuit, is that you? Did you figure it out? It's as bad as we thought it was. First Corps and the President are fleeing the battlefield from the rear. Yeah, that makes sense. I knew it. What? First Corps is fleeing? What are we going to do now? We're not going to die for nothing, are we? No, we're not. Huh? That just wouldn't make any sense, right, Biscuit? Yeah. Oh, boy. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, they're fleeing. What the? But, but uh, Biscuit did a did a thing. W what the? Is that first core? Yeah. Looks like they volunteered to be decoys for us. Toto, what are you thinking, you fool? The enemy's gonna know our position. No, it wasn't me, boss. I, I really didn't do anything. Then, who could have done this? Huh? Damn, it was those brats. Yeah, do, do we pull all... Yeah, all of them are, are retreating. Going after the, the primary. Hey, the enemy's on the move. Yeah, I bet. If I'm reading the situation right, they've got a reason for not letting anyone escape. All right, it's time to fight back. Hold on, Horga. Huh? Oh dear. 
What the? Heavy artillery? From, from where? There it is. Why, oh why, is it taking so long to neutralize such a puny facility? All mobile worker troops will get a pay cut for this. Is that a mobile suit? This can't be happening. Orlis, why did you fire? Our objective is... You shut up. I'm the commander here. Ugh. The objective is so important, then you go retrieve it. Ayn, that includes you. Y yes, sir. No way. We can't take on mobile suits. W what are we going to do? W we have to run. Where are we going to go? That's right. We've got no place to run. We never had. Right, Mika? Yeah. So, what should I do next, Orga? <laughs> Mika. Hmm? Got a job only you can handle. Okay. I'll do whatever you decided on, Orga. Oh, dear. <laughs> this is like killing bugs. First Lieutenant Crank, Captain Orlis is... Leave him be. If we had gone out sooner, we could have prevented this many casualties. We have to draw its attention this way. You've got to be kidding me, Orga. We're out of ammo anyway, right? But... We're going to be okay. We just need to buy a little more time until Mika gets back. Then we can kiss his rotten situation goodbye. <laughs> I'm not letting you get away. Things are looking pretty bleak and grim, aren't they? Ugh. You don't stand a chance against a, a chance against a mobile suit. Ah, just a little longer, Orga. I think it's looking at us. What? Are you the one in charge here? We're all gonna die. We're not gonna die. We'll never die. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> this is not the end. Is it? Mika! And speaking of Mika, there we go, we got the theme music hitting. Feels good. So what do you want me to do next, Orga? It's clear to me now. Hmm? We're going. Where? Anywhere but here. To a better place, where you and I belong. Yes. Let's go. All of us. Together. No way! D did he really do it? Is Mikazuki really piloting that thing? It can't be. Captain Orlis is... We weren't told that there'd be mobile suits here. Orlis. First Lieutenant Crank. Ayn, you cover me. Uh, y yes, sir. Get everyone out of here, Orga. You got it. You heard the man. We'll let Mika handle things here. Roger that. I'm in the safety zone. We're depending on you, Mika. All right, Barbatos, let's do this. Mission start. Oh, it's so cool. Sorry, guys and girls, I'm loving it. Defeat Ein. Challenge conditions. Def can you defeat Crank before defeating Ein? Hmm. Maybe. S stage start. Starting stage strategy. Control your own units and attack the enemy units. Obviously. After completing your own unit's actions, press X at the at, or at a position with no units to access the system command. Select pass to end your turn and proceed to the enemy's turn. 
Take note that defeated units do not revive, so permadeath. Also, also, uh, this does work from what I've been told, and I've actually looked at this a little bit. Um, somebody playing through it just a little bit to see. Uh, keyboard and mouse seems to work fine. I'm just I'm feeling I'm feeling the the controller for this. So if you guys don't have a controller, you don't want to use a controller, the keyboard and mouse seem to work just fine for this. So if that's something that's maybe holding you back, uh, definitely check it out. Like I said, this looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're here for it. However, we're also out of time for Barbatos has a form. Sorry, uh, we're out of time uh, for this episode. So we're gonna bring it off right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm I'm absolutely 100% here for it. I'm really excited to see how this all plays and goes. And uh, yeah, I mean, just coming off of literally last night finishing up season one of the Iron Blooded Orphans IBO is uh, it was it's quite good. I'm excited for season two and beyond. I, I've been watching quite a bit of Gundam in my free time that I do have over the past couple months. So yeah, this is this is uh, exciting times for me. Anyway, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, the publisher, any of that stuff down below in the description of the video, various links, just like always. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel. You guys know the score. I only pester you in that first uh, episode of a series in general anyway. So thanks for watching, guys and gals. I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Take care. We play. We fight. We conquer.